The Samsung Galaxy S22 is coming with an incredible new feature that's never been seen on a smartphone and I'll be sharing the details right after the S22 going to be the most powerful from Samsung yet but it's also coming with an impressive new feature. Before we get started though please like the video if you're a Samsung fan and let me know in the comments what country you're watching today's video from. So there's no Galaxy Note released this year which means all attention is being placed on the Z Fold series along with the Galaxy S22. Surprisingly we've already got a lot of information about the Galaxy S22 even though launch is still some time away. So first of all we've got news that the Galaxy S22 is going to be coming with a powerful new chip based on ARM v9 architecture and of course a new GPU. The new architecture was announced by ARM and Samsung have already promised to adopt it in their new chipset. The previous ARM V8 has been used for the past 10 years and the new architecture is going to allow for a more powerful and efficient chip that's able to work with machine learning direct on the CPU. Now Samsung have confirmed that they're going to adopt this new architecture in 2022 which means it will of course be for the Galaxy S22. And although the ARM V9 comes with an improved Mali GPU it's most likely going to be missing from the S22. As many of you will be aware Samsung have partnered up with AMD and it's reported that the first first chipset will be ready by the end of this year and Ice Universe has now published a post to Weibo to say that it will be present in the S22. Although AMD also have lots of CPU expertise, the partnership is reportedly only for the GPU and we're going to see an Exynos system on chip using a Radeon mobile GPU. So of course Exynos is improving year upon year but there's always a bit of disappointment for those in the Exynos regions that don't get the Qualcomm chip. Hopefully with a new architecture in GPU it could actually be Exynos's year. Now Samsung's long term goal is most likely to be providing Exynos in all regions but until performance can surpass Qualcomm's Snapdragon then it's just not going to happen. Now next up we've got news that the Galaxy S22 is coming with an in-display selfie camera as well as an incredible new feature, one that we've never seen on a smartphone. Now of course we had news before that Samsung are working with Olympus to bring us sensor shift stabilization to the S22 but it seems Samsung really are focusing on the cameras. We again get no time of flight sensor and it's most likely going to be replaced with a laser autofocus but they're implementing a new continuous zoom lens for advanced optical zoom. Now again this news comes from Weibo and Ice Universe states that continuous zoom is going to be on the S22 Ultra. Now it isn't new technology to cameras but it's the first time we're seeing it implemented into a smartphone and it allows for different optical zoom levels meaning no quality loss. The predecessor had 3 times and 10 times zoom but anything in between would be hybrid zoom and that of course results in a notable deterioration in the image quality. The Galaxy S22 is reportedly going to have just one lens which can adjust as you see here to provide varying levels of optical zoom without the need for anything digital. This means that there's no quality loss across the whole of the zoom range although we don't know what that range is going to be just yet. Of course knowing Samsung they're still going to be adding digital zoom on top of the optical for those that want to zoom in further. There was a similar lens in the Sony Xperia but the difference here was that lens is not continuous and it just switches between a fixed 3 or 5 times zoom. So great news for the Galaxy S22 and it also means that only one lens is required instead of the current periscope and telephoto setup. It's going to be interesting to see if Samsung add another lens to the camera module or they simply just have one less camera in the back housing. When it comes to the rest of the specs for the Galaxy S22 it looks like we're getting more incredible devices for the whole of the range. We already have a little bit of information on what we can expect to see so we're now going to run through the specs, design, launch date and expected pricing for each model. So first of all we've got the standard Galaxy S22. The Galaxy S22 is going to come with a 6.2 inch dynamic AMOLED display. We're expecting a full HD plus resolution of 1080 by 2400 and of course a 120 hertz refresh rate. When it comes to the selfie cameras we're unsure if it's going to have a punch hole or an in-display selfie camera as this is of course the budget friendly model so we usually find some compromises and we're also expecting a plastic back instead of glass. On the rear it's likely to be a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, an ultra wide and a telephoto camera. It's going to be powered up by either the Exynos or the Snapdragon system on chip and while we know the Snapdragon chip is model number SM8450 we don't know its exact name just yet. 
It's likely to come with 8 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128 or 256 storage and this will of course be UFS 3.1. It's likely to be powered by a 4000 mAh battery, while fast charging has not been confirmed yet, it's likely going to be 25 watts. It will of course have 5G, Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 and it of course is going to run One UI 4 based on Android 12. And for those of you that are waiting for the S22, it's likely going to start from $850. Now next up we've got the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. The Galaxy S22 Plus is going to be coming with the larger 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED display and going by previous releases it's likely to be a full HD Plus resolution of 1080 by 2400 and it will have a 120Hz LTPO display. When it comes to the selfie cameras we don't know what sensors they're going to be using but it is likely to adopt the in-display selfie camera. On the rear we're likely going to see another triple camera setup and again and it's going to be a wide, an ultra wide and a telephoto. It's going to be powered by either the Exynos or the Snapdragon system on chip and again we don't know the exact name but the model number is SM8450. It will likely come with 8 gigs of RAM and the choice of 128 or 256 storage and again this is UFS 3.1. It will likely be powered by a 4800 milliamp hour battery and we're expecting to see some fast charging improvements but we still haven't had any leaks on the battery yet. It will of course have 5G, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2 and of course One UI 4 based on Android 12 and for those waiting on the S22 Plus it's likely going to start from $1100. Now finally we've got the most premium model, the Galaxy S22 Ultra. The Galaxy S22 Ultra is likely to come with a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display but this time with a Quad HD Plus resolution of something like 1440 by 3200. It will of course be an LTPO panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and we're expecting a high screen to body ratio. We're expecting an in-display selfie camera on the front and when it comes to the rear we can no doubt expect a quad camera setup with the additional laser autofocus. As with the smaller models we should see a wide and ultra wide and a telephoto but on the ultra we usually get a periscope camera with optical zoom. It should be coming with a choice of 12 or 16 gigs of RAM and also 128, 256, 512 and maybe even 1 terabyte storage. It's likely to be powered by a 5000 mAh amp hour battery but again we don't know what fast charge it's going to offer. It's going to have 5G, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2 and run on One UI 4 based on Android 12. And when it comes to the price unfortunately as we know it's going to be expensive we can pretty much expect a starting price of around $1300. So while leaks are still a little bit light on the ground, we are starting to get a bit of information coming in and as we get closer to launch, more and more details will come to light and as always, I'll share them as they do. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, who out there is excited for the Samsung Galaxy S22 and what do you think about this new camera system? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash the thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.